so inshallah tomorrow uh, sorry <laughs> today we are going to start uh, speaking about the uh, mystery of chemistry or uh, our course uh, let's uh, speak about the topics we are going to to cover we're going to take some uh, chemistry concepts some definitions we already talked with them before in prep school and valency i think you talked them also before chemical formula and how can we write or take some examples or how to write chemical formula uh, do you know farah what is this uh, it is the modern table yes the modern periodic table excellent do you know what we are calling these things inside like hydrogen lithium iron what are we calling them what are they hmm. Uh, metal. Uh, some of them are metals, not all of them. We have metals and non-metals, metalloids. Hmm. What what are these, uh, Esther? Elements. Elements, yes. So, uh, here the first thing we're going to speak about, revise, element. What does it mean, the word element? Element, like we, uh, we talked before, it is the pure simple substance something pure and simple that cannot be converted into simpler form by the chemical traditional method what does it mean for example can i take the hydrogen and i tell you i will change this hydrogen into sodium can i huh, can i change the hydrogen into sodium yes or no no no, of course, it's something pure, or I cannot change it. This hydrogen, so it's hydrogen. I can't change it at all. Yes, uh, when some chemical uh, reactions, it combine with another uh, element to form another compound. But now we are speaking about elements. They cannot be changed, okay? We cannot convert them into something else. Each atom or each element, sorry, has its own and uh, let's revise again so the element it's the pure substance pure simple substance cannot be converted into simpler form by the chemical traditional method okay let's take some examples for example i have here uh, do you know what this element farah helium helium do you remember anything about it um yeah. Do you remember its place on the periodic table? Where is it? Hmm. No. It's here. Look here. Do you remember this group? This would be helium. This group, the noble gases? Yes, the noble gases. Yes, they are inactive. They are inactive. So I have here, this is the helium he this is one of the elements i cannot take the, i can't take the helium and change it in something else but with the chemical traditional method because there are another methods we can change some elements by the nuclear energy but uh, we don't have to know them now but for now we have to know that the element cannot be converted into another form or another element we have here chlorine we have carbon we have each one of them has its own name its own symbol its own atomic and mass numbers okay before we uh, start here let's make this activity all right so let's try by ourselves uh, to build uh, to make to see some elements who can tell me the element is cons consisting from what like what is the smallest building unit ever something smaller than the element electrons uh, where can we find the electrons inside what orbit uh, the orbit uh, okay and the orbits electrons with the orbits with protons and neutrons all of these together forming what the atom yes very good so here we're speaking about the atoms they are the smallest building unit so let's build an atom together so i'm going to add what what should i add inside the nucleus uh, farah do you remember inside the nucleus I... and hmm. neutrons. neutrons what else 
only proton. and the proton. protons yes very good so i have inside the nucleus i have protons and neutrons and outside like you just said in the orbits i can add yes can i add uh, two electrons and only one protons or the atom should has the same number of protons and electrons hmm. okay there's something about the atom we have to know each atom in the life has its own uh, atomic number its own atomic number what is the atomic number the number of what the atomic number uh, huh? the mission of the protons excellent the number of protons. of protons yes or it equals the number of electrons yes electrons excellent very good so i have the atom the neutral atom it's the atomic number Tell me about the number of protons inside it or the number of electrons. Like, for example, I'm telling you, I am searching for an atom that its atomic number is four. So you are going to search in the periodic table until you find an atom. It's uh, the number of protons is four. So you are going to tell me it's the brilliant. So let's see it here. For example, I'm going to add four protons. Here we go. Now they are four. So it's brilliant. It's completely different other than the atom we were using or working on, right? So I have here each atom has its own atomic number. Its own atomic number. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, Ragat, you just joined. How are you, Ragat? Yes, which, oh, yes. Uh, which grade are you? Then yes, I know. Okay, so grade 11. Okay, so like we said, the atomic number is showing us the number of protons or the number of electrons. I have here four protons, so I also I have four electrons revolving here. I have four electrons. This is the brilliant atom. How about if I add one more proton? It will keep uh, as it is. It will be brilliant as well, or it will be changed if I add one more proton. Huh? It will be changed. Yes, it will be changed. It's boring now. Okay, so now we have to know that something characteristic to the atom, the number of protons. The number of protons. It's only for each one of them it only has a specific number boron so they are they have five brilliant four lithium three okay so now we know the atomic number is the number of protons or the number of electrons how about the mass number hmm. the sum of the protons and the neutrons yes very good excellent sum of neutrons plus protons uh, okay all right so like you said let's write now the mass number mass number equals number of protons plus number of neutrons right okay let's uh, try it here for example i need to know hmm, here lithium okay Ragat, can you tell me what is the atomic number of this atom hmm. yes Ragat. what is it atomic number atomic number mm -hmm. um... Uh, the number of protons count the number of protons here the, the the orange one it's orange or red i don't know two yes two and the mass number the mass number so you are going to count all of them inside all of things inside the nucleus okay 
Hmm. So we are four. Four. Yes, very good. So I have my atomic number is two. The mass number is four. And of course, the number of electrons is the same. The number of the atomic number of the number of protons. Yes. So they are two. Yeah. Okay. How about if I have, uh, for example, the lithium? Let's make it lithium. And lithium should have uh, three. One second. Yes. Uh, three electrons, but suddenly I found something like lithium. It has three protons, but only two electrons. What does it mean? Uh, who remembers this part? Hmm. I have three protons, so it cannot be any atom other than lithium. It's, lith it's lithium, 100%. But I have only two electrons, not three. What does it mean? Uh, who can think about it? Me? Uh, miss, معلش. Hmm. I want to say that I have a great ten. All right. Okay. This is this part. Of, so we entered in the valency. Let's revise it quickly, then return it back to this activity. So here, so you'd like you already said all of you, the building unit of everything okay. is the atom. And, lo and we already know that the atom is consisting from three particles. Uh, the blue one is called neutrons. Then we have here protons. And I have uh, that rotates uh, here uh, out there, acer or uh, the um, neutrons. Neutrons already inside, neutrons and protons inside. But the Electron. one that... Hmm. Electrons. Yes, Electron. electrons. Yes, very good. Do you remember for uh, chores? What are their chores? What is the charge for proton? Hmm. Uh, I don't, um, I don't remember. Uh, positive or negative or neutral. Hmm. Oh, uh, positive. Yes, very good. So protons are positive. So we have here, protons are positive. Neutrons are? Hmm. Are um... a neutron. Welcome, Yasin. How are you? So they are neutral. They don't have a charge. They don't have a charge. So we are saying about them, they are neutral. Okay. And electrons, finally, they mm -hmm. are negative. They are or carrying the negative charge. So if I have a lock here, I have the number of protons. They are three. Three positive charge. I have outside there three negative charges, the electrons, and neutrons, they are not countable because they are already neutral. So what would be the charge of the whole atom? Hmm. I'm sorry, how many negative and positive charges? The, the, you already should know that in the number of protons equal the number of electrons. So they are equal, negative equal to positive. And we have already the neutrons neutral. So what would be the charge for the whole atom? Neutral. Neutral. Very good. So what is the charge for the atom? It's a neutral. Why? Because the number of positive, cho positive charge, the protons, equal to the number of negative charge, the electrons, and already the neutrons are neutral. So the whole atom is neutral. Okay, so what is the atom? It is the simplest or the smallest building unit of matter that cannot be divided into simpler form. Uh, sorry. All right. And we already speak about the R3 particles. We know already Shad. How are you, Shad? Shad? Okay, uh, can you tell you what is the positive charge in the atom? Hmm. 
positive charge. Protons. Protons and the negative. Electrons. Electrons. Very good. And uh, neutral. Neutrons are negative. Electrons are negative, yes. I'm asking which particle of the three particles of the atom that is neutral. Hmm. Neut uh, neutrons. Yes, neutrons. Uh, Shahd, which grade are you? 11. 11? Okay. All right. Who knows who discovered the presence of atoms. Hmm. Who discovered or who knows the story about the atoms dis discovery? Hmm. Yes, okay. Uh, one day, for, uh, like many years ago, one of the scientists was looking at um, a sample of water that contains a uh, one pollen grain you know the pollen pollen grains is found inside the flowers so he has some water okay a drop of water that contains some or one pollen pollen grain and he was looking at the sample just he's just looking and checking what is happening there then he found that the pollen grain is moving he was wondering how the pollen grain is moving and nothing caused this motion nothing it's just a still a drop of water what is happening so uh, for many years uh, a lot of scientists was wondering why the pollen grain is moving until Einstein came and said that there are uh, a lot of atoms inside the water that may that already moving and pushing or uh, making this pollen grain to move it was the the day that we, all the world know about the atoms all right this is the uh, pollen grains and this is under the microscope he was saying that there are a lot of atoms in th inside the water and they causing the pollen grains to move he solved the mystery okay now before we, we speak about the chemical formula and uh, valencies uh, we just said now that there are some electrons that rotate around the nucleus right and they are rotating in some orbits do you know their names do you remember no. their names no. these orbits hmm. they are called levels with the energy levels are k l m n o p q yes very good k l m n o Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they ha we have how many uh, energy levels? They are seven yep. energy levels. Seven en energy levels where we can find the electrons rotate around the nucleus. Farah, you have. Okay. For example, I have here sodium and uh, ragat. Uh, can you tell me how can I make the electron configuration for sodium? Sodium, what is the atomic number? You can uh, know it from the picture here. What is the atomic number for sodium? Hmm. Okay, Farah. The atomic number yes, of sodium? Hmm. It's 11. 11, very good. How can you distribute this 11 electrons? Hmm. The first mm -hmm. uh, excuse me for is for uh, but it was Robert Stone. Eleven. Okay. Oh, yes. Know. No problem. Yes, they are eleven. How can I distribute the electron? They are eleven electrons. How can I distribute them in the energy levels? It will be two. Hmm. Okay, so Farah complete. You said two what? Eight. Eight. Three. Three? Two uh, plus eight, ten. And they uh, are eleven. Ten, uh, one, one. One. Yes, very good. So I have it two, eight, one. I made the uh, configuration here. So what would be the valency for sodium? Uh, <coughs> OK. 
Okay. There is something called about valencies. Let's speak about that before speak here. That is called monovalent, divalent, and trivalent. Monovalent, it has only one electron. So it will lose it or it will lose this electron or it will gain electrons. This is the first question it I have lose. to ask. Yes, very good. So it will lose this electron. Why? Because any atom need to have at the outermost energy level complete number of electrons. Complete number of electrons. So once they have complete number of electrons, so they have no problem. They are stable now. So I, this one, it has only one at, by, at the end. Uh, it need to remove this one and become eight or take another seven and become eight here. Which one is easier? Lose one or gain seven? Lose one. Of course, because each electron needs a lot of energy to lose or gain. So the energy needed for losing one electron less than the energy needed for gaining seven electrons. So of course, sodium is losing one electron so it is monovalent mono means only one electron so when I'm, I'm i'm going to make a compound like we are going to start now so i, I have to know that the sodium for example monovalent so it, it has just one so this one we are not writing it okay let's try the chlorine uh, Shahda, can you please tell me how can I make the, the electron configuration for chlorine? Chlorine 17. Hmm. Yes, Shahd? Chlorine. I don't know. Okay, who knows? Yasin? How can I distribute the 17 electrons? Uh, two, two, eight, eight, seven, seven. What do you think is it uh, the chlorine? Mono or di or tri or what? Hmm. Mono. Mono. Very good. Why? It's because it would gain one rather than losing the same. Excellent. So this one will gain one electron, will gain one electron. And so it will have eight electrons at the outermost energy level. So it's mono. So if I want to make a combination between sodium and chlorine, what would be the symbol I, I will write here? How can I write sodium chloride? Yes, Farah. How can I write sodium chloride? You already know that sodium is mono. And chlorine is mono as well. NaCl. Hmm. NaCl. Very good. Each one of them already is mono. So it's written as it is NaCl. Very good. Okay. Well done. So what did the compound like? We just threw it now. NaCl. NaCl, of course, is not an element, right? Because it's in two elements together. So what is the compound? Anyone knows before I say? Hmm. What is the compound? Okay. The compound is uh, a substance made of two or more elements. Yes, excellent. So combined uh, co together chemically or not combined? Combined. Yes, very good. So the atom is a chemical substance consists of two or more elements that connected together chemically. There is a bond between them. Like in ACL, there's a bond between them. There is an ionic bond between the sodium and chlorine. We have two kinds of bonds that we took also before. It's ionic bond and covalent bonds. We are going to revise them inshallah. Okay, this is example for some compounds that connected together. For example, I have water. I have water that combination between two hydrogen and one oxygen. I have carbon dioxide, one carbon, two oxygen. So these are all examples for chemical compounds. Chemical compounds. Uh, uh, they are two or more different elements. How about if I say O2? I have here O and another O, and they are combined together. What is this? 
Hmm. They are similar. Yes, they are two elements combined together, but they are two similar elements. Hmm. I think they make an element. They what? Make an element. They are two elements. How? It's yes. It's uh, the oxygen is an element already, but I'm saying if two oxygen atoms combine together, they are forming something called oxygen molecule. Okay, they are. It's also we can say about a compound. They are two elements together. So, okay, let's start with the valences first. What is the valency that we are speaking about now? It is the number of electrons lost or gained or shared by an atom during the chemical reaction. You told me now that the sodium need to lose or gain. Sodium lose or gain. Uh, let's make it step by step. Uh, lose. So for uh, if the sodium lose one electron, the electron. What is the charge for the electron? Uh, uh, Negative or positive? Electron. Negative. Uh, negative. You have to know it like you know your name. Electron, negative. Electron, negative. Okay, now it lost an electron. So, for example, if I said the number of protons, that is positive or negative, the protons? Positive. Positive. They are 11. Now, when it lost one electron, what would be the number of electrons? Negative. Ah, it lost one. So what will what will be the number of electrons? Hmm. Ten. Yes, it will be ten. So if we imagine together, what would be the charge of this atom? It will it will change now from an atom to be something else. What? Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hello, Ali. How are you? Teacher, I am very very late. But is it allowed uh, to enter or? Uh... Yes, for sure. Yes, welcome. Uh, okay, yes. So what did I miss? Uh, I will tell you when we finish. I advise for you. Okay, so we have here the sodium is positive. The sodium is positive. Why? Because this atom lost one negative electron. So the positive charge more than negative ones. So it is now called sodium positive. Iron. It is an iron for now because it lost an electron. How about if I'm speaking about the chlorine? The chlorine gain or lose? 17. Gain. Gain. Yeah. So, uh, Ragat, what do you think? The chlorine, when it gain one more negative charge, so it will have 18 negative electrons and it already has 17 positive protons. So it will be a change into negative or positive ion. Hmm. You're going to check what, what the number is more, negative or positive. Okay, chat. Hmm. We have here the number of electrons more than the number of protons. So this will be negative or positive ion. Okay. Okay, Farah. Negative. Negative. Yes, the number of negative electrons more than the number of positive protons. Very good. So it will be negative. Now let's make electron configuration for the ions, not for the atoms. I have here sodium ion. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Yes, sure, Shat. I will repeat. Okay, now I'm going to speak about sodium ion and chlorine ion. I'm not speaking about the atoms. What does it mean, sodium ion? It means it gain. I, I put only one positive charge. It means it gain one. Uh, sorry. It lose one. Did you electron. Answer? What, Shat? I can't hear you. Okay, the sodium ion, it lose one electron. It lose one electron. So when I make the electron configuration, I will make it to eight. This is the sodium ion. So it has the number of protons here is 11, more than the number of electrons. That's why it's positive ion. 
How about the chlorine? When I make the chlorine ion, the chlorine ion when it's distributed, it's two, eight, eight. So I have 18 negative electrons. And I have already the positive protons inside, they are 17. So here I have the number of electrons more than the number of protons, so it's a negative ion. Again? Hmm. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's see by ourselves this one. Let's make it here. Okay. Look with me here. This, uh, once we are going just reset, I'm going now to add positive protons and negative electrons. It will be written here, is it neutral atom? atom or negative ion or positive ion so let's start with the four protons so i have here four protons it's brilliant okay and i'm going to add four neutrons and four electrons the same number of protons uh, it will be what before i complete neutral atom or ion if I add this fourth electron. Ah, you see? Neutral atom. Yes, very good. Neutral atom. Because the number of protons already equal to number of electrons. I'm going to add one more atom. But this one, of course, will lose. So let's remove two atoms. Now, what is it now? It's a positive ion. Why? Ion. Yes, why? Because it has more uh, protons than neutrons. Yes, yeah, so I have number of protons here. They are four, but the electrons, they are two. So I have two more positive charges. That's why it's a positive ion. Okay, let's try someone uh, one else. For example, I'm going to make the oxygen. Let's make the oxygen. Okay, oxygen has here six electrons. So they are all eight, the same like ready. So I have here, yes, I have here eight electrons and eight protons, so it is a neutral atom. Yes, so uh, Shahd, I think Shahd was asking. Uh, so Shahd, now uh, you have the same number of protons and the electrons. Uh, can you tell me what the oxygen is going to do? It is it is going to lose or gain electrons, the oxygen atom, hmm. to be stable, to complete its outermost energy level. Okay, uh, who knows? What can I say? Uh, okay, Asin. It will gain two. It will gain two, so it will be complete with ions. So it will be negative or positive ion? Negative ion. Yes, very good. Miss, so uh, mm. like an atom with two electrons, it's a stable atom, right? Yes, two electrons because already the first energy level cannot hold more than two. So it's a stable. Miss, like so a, to, like for a, an atom to be stable, the atom needs to be full. Yes, yes. It's aim, each atom, it's aim. To have full outermost energy level. Okay, let's uh, try this thing. Okay, it's like a um, small quiz. Uh, Farah, here they are giving you an element, and you are going to tell me what is this element from the periodic table, and you are going to tell me is it neutral or neutral atom or ion? What is this? Hmm. It has only one. Electron. Okay, I will give you a hint before we start. Here we are starting our periodic table from one. Like hydrogen, it has only one proton and one electron. Then we are going to here, it's two. Then lithium, atomic number three. Beryllium, four. Boron, five. Carbon, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so on. So it's very easy to find uh, or figure out where the elements you are searching for by counting the number of electrons. So here they yes. are giving you... Uh, hmm. will be hydrogen. Excellent. So, and it's neutral atom or ion? Uh, neutral. It's a neutral atom. Excellent. Well done. 
Uh, okay. Ali, I just do don't you want know to... if it's neutral or uh, negative or positive ion. Really? It's not throwing the protons. This is the proton, the red one. Oh, okay. I thought it was a neutron. Oh, no, no. They are just caring about the protons for now. Okay. Uh, Ali, do you want to try or? Uh... Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. So, Just a try, and I will explain for you the, the parts you lost, okay? Here they are telling you that uh, we are searching for an element that has six protons and six electrons. So w which one in this periodic table do you think is ha has six? Um, give me a minute. Okay. Excellent, the carbon. Okay, this is neutral atom or ion? Let's check the number of protons and the electrons. Neutral, teacher, neutral. Excellent, Ali. Very good. Okay, Farah? Oh, Farah, you just answered right. So, Yasin? Hmm. How about this one? What is this atom? Just a second. Okay. Mm, are you sure? Uh, the I'm only thing, sure. one second. <laughs> the only thing that you 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 can say that one hundred percent. I'm speaking about this element. The number of protons you see, not electrons. So now focus with the number of protons. If you want to know what which, which element is it? Hydrogen. Of course, it's hydrogen. The only element that has only one proton. And is it ion or at, uh, or ion? Sorry, atom or uh, ion? Negatively charged ion. Excellent. Yes. Okay, Ravad. Let's try this one. Hmm. Ravad, you have uh, the number of protons nine, the number of electrons nine. Ravad or Shahd? Hmm. You don't want to share? Iron. Iron. They have the same number. They have the same number of protons and the same number of electrons. First, what is it? You're going to search in the periodic table, starting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So which one has 9? Yes, Shahd. Fluoride. Fluorine, excellent. And is it neutral atom or ion? Neutral. Neutral, of course, because they have the same number of protons and electrons. Excellent. Okay, and here we go. How did it answer? We have here the number of protons 10, the number of electrons 10. Once you see the, this 10, so it's 2, 8, complete number of electrons. What would be this element? Miss, can I say? Okay, see. It's Ne. Neon, yes. And? It's a neutral atom. Neutral atom. Excellent, very good. Ralph? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, it's very, very noisy. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, now all of the examples we are speaking about the elements that is losing the element that gains we have to know the difference between them so we'll be able to write even a chemical formula so now let's uh, try to write wait a second a chemical formula for example uh, but I have to uh, okay we have to look at the predictable at the same time okay so let's open on the page we have predictable Because anyway, uh, your exams will be, you will have the, the predictable with you in the exam. What is it? Ah, one second. Yes, here we go. Okay. No way. Okay. 
right so farah to start with farah now for example i am asking you to write for me um aluminium chloride hmm. okay farah let's make it together yeah. how can i write aluminium chloride First, how could you know the valency of each one of them? Now we, we don't we don't want to just study the valencies. We need to understand and to know how can we know the valency from the periodic table. So you are going to use the same method we were using now. Like you are going to see what would be the number of electrons for this element, then you will know how to write it. Hmm. Aluminium chloride. First, how can I write aluminium? Um um, Al. Al. And chloride. Chlorine. Chlorine. Cl. Cl. I want to combine them together. I want to make a compound. How can I write it? I have to know the valencies first. You already know the valency for chlorine, right? Yeah. It's what? It's a monovalent. Monovalent one. Okay. How about aluminium? Let's search for it. Where is it in the periodic table? Uh, trivalent. Excellent. Yes. So let's see. Uh, I will tell you a way. Uh, maybe you you uh, you just remembered right, but I will tell you now a way to know it without even if you if it's uh, one element that you don't remember. Here, for example, I have this group is called one a right. All of this group losing one electron. So I already know if I ask it about sodium, potassium lithium hydrogen it has only one electron that will be lost okay i have here two b so it's divalent two electrons three a so they are losing three electrons uh, so here i have the aluminium so you already know that it's losing three electrons so how can i write this compound hmm. uh, a l uh, c l sorry Ah. There is a method we were using, like the scissor method. So how can I write uh, it? A L C L uh, and under C L three. Excellent. So it's A L C L three. And do you know is it ionic or uh, covalent bond in between them? Like. Um, I didn't remember. Okay, okay, just without remembering anything. What is the charge for the chlorine? Positive or negative? Uh, negative. Negative. And the aluminium? You just said that the aluminium is losing uh, three. Positive. Very good. So if I have positive and negative, so it's an ionic compound. This is an ionic compound. What does it mean, ionic compound? There I have negative and positive. Negative and positive. Very good. Okay, so I have AlCl3. This is my ionic compound. Okay, let's try with something else. Uh, for example, um, okay, Yasin, okay, let's write um, potassium chloride. Hmm. I want to write potassium chloride. Mm. <clears throat> yes. uh, potassium, it's K, this one. K. Chloride, C, L. Mm. What would be the valency for potassium? Yes, I don't know. I, I didn't take chemistry before. Okay, I'm, I'm explaining here. Where is the potassium? It is in the first group, right? All the first group, yes. you see, ends with one electron. All of this group ends by the outermost energy level has only one electron. So what they will do with this electron? They will give it away. Yes, they will lose it. And they're changing it into what? Uh, positively charged at Excellent. Ion. positive ion. Excellent. So potassium is positive ion. It will be positive ion when it combines, I mean, with chlorine. Okay, let's see the chlorine. It's in the group 7A. 
7 a means it ends by 7 electrons at the outermost energy level. So what they are going to do? Uh, it's going to take one electron. Very good. Gain electron changing into? Uh, a negatively charged ion. Very good. Negative ion. So this one will be negative. So what will the valency for potassium? You said how many electrons it will uh, lose? One. And chlorine? It will gain one. Yes. So how can you write it? KCl. That's it. KCl. Potassium chloride. Without anything, just using the periodic table, you can write any compound you want. Except for the atomic groups. So but, we'll hmm. but I have a question. What, uh, how did I use, uh, like you asked me how many atoms, uh, electrons were, will it lose? Hmm. But this didn't help me any, uh, in writing the compound. Yes, if you know the number of electrons it will gain or lose, so you will be able to write the compound. It's everything about in chemistry related to electrons, all the chemical reaction, all the bonds, everything related to the electrons. Miss, I mean, like when I said that it loses one electron, mm -hmm. I like I didn't use this information in the in writing the compound. How? You I mean, mean it use... doesn't? You mean that it doesn't matter? It it lose or gain? Yes. No, it, it matters. It matters because just we are speaking now about uh, ionic bonds when they are different, negative with positive, they are forming ionic bond. How about if both of them losing one, uh, losing one electron? How, how, how we can make this one? They are sharing their electrons together like the hydrogen molecule. You know, hydrogen, the hydrogen has only one electron. And another hydrogen, it's both of them the 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 positive charge so it's not ionic bond here what are they doing to be stable they are joining together each one of them share with one electron with the other and this is another story the covalent bonds we'll take it next time inshallah so it matters to know what the kind of bond that bonds these two elements together okay um okay so let's uh, just revise some information we took today we're speaking about the uh for example farah can you please tell me the difference between the element and the compound what is the difference between the element and the compound uh, the element is um is a pure substance mm. uh, but the com uh, compound is a combination between two elements combination between two elements two or more yes very good thank you and um, Ali uh, if I have an atom that lost uh, for example two electrons it will become positive or negative it shows it uh, I lost the two electrons lost Two electrons, it becomes positive. Excellent, Ali. Thank you. Uh, Shahd, how about an, an atom that gain three electrons? Hmm. Negative charge. It will be negative ion, and uh, it will be what would be its valency if it gain three electrons? Mono, di, or tri valent. Hmm. Three electrons, so it will be trivalent. Okay. So we have here Ali and Yasin against Farah, Ragad, and Chat. Okay, Yasin, let's start. 11. Okay. Uh, Okay, I think you don't know this uh, information. Uh, how many different types of atoms have been made in laboratories? Here, uh, we ha do you remember the number of elements we have in the periodic table, Yasin? I think it was 118. Okay, 118. 94 
from them naturally found. We can naturally find them. The rest, we can prepare them in the laboratories. So you are going 24. just to subtract. Yes. So they are 24 elements. Very good. So we have 24 elements that we can prepare in the laboratories. Uh, Farah? Um, yeah. Choose a number. One. One. What is the formula for carbon monoxide? Try. Let's try together to write it. Carbon monoxide. Okay, let's uh, separate it. Carbon. How can I write carbon? C. Oxide. What is oxide? Uh, O2. Uh, it's oxygen. Uh, yes, it's, it should be O2, but here they are saying mono. So it will be? One. Yes. So it will be? Uh, CO. CO. Monoxide. Yes. Carbon monoxide is CO. Very good. Okay, Ali? Yes, teacher. 14 يعني. Uh, calcium plus carbon plus mm, okay I'll change this question for you uh, for example how can I do you know how can I write calcium Ali uh, from the skin see what CA CA very good CA do you know how can I write carbonate carbonate I know that you didn't take it before, so I will help you. Carbonate, this is an atomic group. It's a group, radicals. So here we are writing CO3. Okay, I will tell you each one of them what is its valency, then you will tell me how can I write them. The calcium, they are 20 electrons. So how can I distribute them? Huh? What do you mean, teacher? Like, how can I distribute the electrons? They are 20 electrons for the calcium. That yes. will be two. Huh? Two. Miss, can I help? Eight. Eight, eight not 18. Huh? Complete. Two, eight, and ten? Two, eight, they are ten. Huh? Then? Uh, I don't know, teacher. I never took chemistry before. Miss, can I help him? Okay, two eight. Yes, yes, in two eight eight. Two eight eight only. They are eighteen. Two, uh, two. Yes, two eight 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 two eight eight two. Yes, very good. Okay, so Ali, you have two electrons at the outermost energy level. They will lose the calcium. Will lose or gain? It has two. Have two electrons. Lose or gain. Um, it, it, it lose or gain what? This two electrons. The calcium will lose them easier or gain six easier. Lose two easier no, or lose, gain six. Lose, okay. Lose so yes, it will lose two. So it's a divalent. It has two electrons that it will they will lose. The carbonate also divalent too. So how can I write calcium carbonate? Hmm. Calcium carbonate. Just combine Acetate. them together. Uh, C A. Yes. C um, C A C. O. C A C O three. Yes, C A C O three. CO3 is just a group together. We are uh, we are uh, really, uh, we are um, uh, we are saying about the carbonate group. We are uh, dealing with it as an atom. Yes, okay? I think I know the answer to the question on the screen. I think it's calcium plus carbon plus ATE. Plus what? ATE equals calcium carbonate. ATE. What do you mean? Oh, you uh, you mean the how, from where we bring the oxygen, it's a calcium carbon, then we have O3, so we need oxygen here, right? But, okay, very good, because you didn't take chemistry before, so well done. Uh, okay, and now, chat. 
Okay. Yes, chat. You can number. What about six? Six. Sorry. The columns in the periodic table are called columns. They are called uh, periods or groups, the columns. Hmm. Columns in the periodic table are called periods or groups. Hmm. Periods? What? Periods or you said periods? We have two things we are dealing with, we're dealing with in the periodic table, like we are saying that we have 18, 18 groups and seven periods. Yes. Columns, which one of them? The periods or the groups? Hmm. Farah, you said the answer or what? Who said the answer? Me. What is it? Uh, columns. Uh, yeah. uh, you said columns. Yes, columns. Periods or groups? Uh, groups. Yes, well done. Okay, you see. Seven. Element with the smallest mass in the periodic table. Uh, I think it's hydrogen. Hmm. Hydrogen for sure. Uh, Ragad. Yes, Ragad. Hmm, quickly. Okay, Farah. Two. A molecule of oxygen is made from how many atoms of oxygen joined together? Two atoms. Yes, very good. Ali. Yes, I have a question. Mm. I asked Three. it before, but you told me you answered it the, at the end of the session, which you forgot. Uh, why, like in some periodic tables, hydrogen has uh, one neutron and in others it, it has zero? Mm. Isot 